Hello and welcome to CloudBees. In this video, I'm going to walk you through connecting a CloudBees Core Client Master to a CloudBees Core Operation Center. So let's start with the documentation. This video will pick up essentially where the documentation leaves off. If you go to docs.cloudbees.com and go to the traditional platforms installation, you will find the installation guide for installing a CliентBees Core Operation Center and client masters. And what that will get you to is when you install the operation center, you'll be directed to a screen like this. And when you install the client master, you will be directed to a screen like this. And so now we're going to connect these and actually have them work as a uh, as they should in, in a production system with the client master and the operation center actually knowing about each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab this initial admin password. Off to my right here, I've got two servers, one OC for the operation center and the other master one for the client master. So grab that. And this will allow us to unlock it and begin the installation. We have two choices, request a trial license or use a license key. If you use a license key, you'll have to get that from a CloudBees support representative or your customer success manager. So we'll save that exercise for you, the installer. So I'm going to get use a license key and you'll see I'll be given a Jenkins instance ID. You will need that to get the license. Let me grab my license that I have here. certificate as well. And this should get us legal and licensed. And it is. So the next thing is to customize the, the CloudBees Core Operation Center. Always, always, always install the suggested plugins. Uh, we not only highly recommend that, we can't stress that enough. And I will start those going, and you will see CloudBees will begin to install these plugins right away. The first thing it's going to ask me to do is create an admin user. It'll also ask for the URL for my instance configuration, and I'm going to leave it as the default, which is just the IP address and my port number. And my Cloud op Bees Operations Center is ready to go. Now, I'm going to do a best practice and start things off in folders. So I'll click a new item, scroll down here to the folder and create one. Give it a name first. I'll be lazy and call it CMs for Client Master. I'm going to restrict the contents of this folder just to Client Masters. This is a way of organizing your folders and make sure only the contents you want go in those folders. And we're good. Now this over here I can add a new Client Master. And I'm going to call that Master1. Select the client master, save the defaults, and I will get some connection details. Jump into my other screen here. I have my client master ready to go. It too needs to be unlocked. So I will go here over to my server, grab that password, and unlock it. Now with the Client Master, you can actually do a trial, use the license key and set it up as standalone, or connect it to a Jenkins Operation Center, which is what we're going to do now. So I'll go ahead and grab the connection details from here, put them in here, and you'll see it's the same process. Now 
install the suggested plugins. Again, always, always, always install the suggested plugins. Once this is up and running, we'll add, like we did earlier, a first admin user. And start using our client master. And now you will see that we can access this trail of Jenkins to our folder to, the, to master one from either one of these. So if I go to Jenkins, it'll take me to the CloudBees Operations Center. If I go to my folders and my master one, it'll take me to my CloudBees Core Client Master. And there you have it. We hope you've enjoyed.